Hi, Kirk here from the Shit Tier Swordsman. Anyway, somebody on my last video and on my last BJJ class a uh, commented saying that I should do a follow up video. So I decided I'm doing a follow up video. And this is my second class. Just got out of my second class. It kind of sucks only getting to, to go once a week and still loving it. But here, here's what happened this time. So. I'm on the mat, I'm rolling, you know, I'm having a great time. And I actually feel like I did a lot better this time than I did last time. But halfway through rolling, and my calf cramps, okay? Now, it only hurt for like a split second, so I kind of think, yeah, I'm good to go another round. You know, obviously I tapped first, and, and I thought, yeah, okay, let's, you know, give it a second, doesn't hurt no more, let's go another round. So, I go another round... You know, obviously being a white belt, I kind of get my ass beat, but whatever. I, um, and then I'm, we're done, and I'm like, okay. I go to stand up. Nope. Not happening. <laughs> so I basically had to, like, gimp over to the fucking chairs. And was like, yeah, I uh, looked at my instructor, and I'm like, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be sitting out for a little while. So I sat out for about 20 minutes. After that, it felt a little bit better. So... A, um, I did end up going in for two more rolls with my friend Isaac, and or and a, um, let me tell you something there. Okay, let me tell you something. One of the things I find funny about BJJ is when you're rolling with your friend compared to when you're rolling with somebody you don't really know. It's like a whole different tone. You know, you see, you're rolling with somebody you don't know, you're a little quiet, a, um... You're rolling with somebody you know, especially when it's someone better than you. Like, in this case, it's like, fucking son of a bitch, you got me. How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> I really mean to stop swearing so much, but, oh, man, it was a good time. I, um, what I was really proud of tonight is that there was one, there's one guy there. He is legit really good. A, um, not sure what belt he has, but he's good BJJ. -er. He's about 6'4", a really good shape, and just, you know, seems like a pretty all-around good guy. So we're rolling on the mats, and what we're doing this time is this, like, uh, sparring where we're starting off in close guard, and then we're switching around and stuff, right? So it's my turn to be on top. He's got me in a close guard, and this dude is, like, eight inches taller than me, and I managed to lift him off the ground. I am fucking so proud of that. I, um, anyway, I wish, what I really, really wish is that a, um, what I really, really wish is that I could go more than once a week, but unfortunately, I have a real, like, shit work schedule, so going more than once a week is kind of a problem sometimes. Um, the other thing is, is if anybody could comment in the comments, like, good tips for avoiding cramps, like... I know, obviously, I need to get in better shape. That'll help. And I have been drinking lots of water. So, I think I might have just figured out what cost it. Huh. Maybe I should try not having a bottle of pop earlier in the day. That might have done it. Um, anyway, yeah, any tips, tricks for sticking with BJJ is appreciated in the comments. So far, I am loving it, and... Gonna be honest with you, okay? One of the things about being a white belt is that I find... So this is something that I find to be universally true, no matter what new experience you try, okay? Whenever you try new experiences, you, you don't end up learning just learning about the new thing you're doing. Sometimes, you kind of end up learning about yourself a little bit. And I never realized how much I love sparring. I love fighting. I love being in there. I shouldn't say fighting. I love being in there with another guy and just giving it to her. Okay? Like, especially in a martial arts context, you know? I'm not really, like, big into, like, street fights, stuff like that, but within a martial arts ca context where it's just two guys, you're going at her, and your ultimate goal is to become a better you. That is so fucking awesome. At least that's how I approach it, you know? I don't approach it with this... I gotta win or I'm gonna lose mentality because, you know, I approach it as in I'm going in there to be 
to do two things. Enjoy the act itself and be a better me. Anyway, and, um, that's enough ranting for me for now. So this is my second BJJ class, and I'm hoping I'm going to maybe make a series out of this. So I, um, have a good night.